Have you always wanted to experiment with modes on your guitar? Welcome to a clear, concise discussion that will light the path for you on the road to modes. I'm David Harsh, founder of Guitar Success For You, and I'm here to show you some important first steps towards claiming all seven modes on your guitar. So what's a mode in music? Well, basically, it's a seven note scale. Even if you're not a lead guitarist, it's super helpful to understand the seven modes and how they differ from each other because there's a very real chance that you might sing a modal melody. And spoiler alert, part two of this two-part mini-series will focus on modes with chords. The good news is that each mode is based on seven notes. The better news is that they can all be played with the same seven notes. All we need to do is start on a different note as we keep them in the same order. In a nutshell, the seven modes, which can be derived from the major scale in this order, are Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. The modes with the major quality are the Ionian, Lydian, and Mixolydian, and the modes with the minor quality are the Dorian, Phrygian, Aeolian, and Locrian. How in the wide world of sports do we memorize these names? Well, I've got two fun mnemonic memory devices for you. Choose the one you like better. The first one is... I don't punch like Muhammad Ali. The second one is, I don't play loud music any longer. Now, with the limited time we have today, I'm not able to unpack these modes in great detail, but I can tease your eyes and ears a bit with how they look and how they sound. Today, we'll just be focusing on the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, and B, starting and ending on each of the seven notes. First, I'll just play these seven modes in open position, providing some handy notation, tablature, and fretboard diagrams. I'll even include W's and H's for the whole and half step intervals between the notes. Ready? Buckle up. First, we have the Ionian mode, better known as the major scale. Here's the C Ionian mode. Next up is the Dorian mode, which is like a natural minor scale with a raised sixth degree. Here's the D Dorian mode. Next, we have the Phrygian mode, which is like a natural minor scale with a lowered second degree. Here's the E Phrygian mode. After that, we have the Lydian mode, which is like a major scale with a raised fourth degree. Here's the F Lydian mode. Next, we have the Mixolydian mode, which is like a major scale with a lowered seventh degree. Here's the G Mixolydian mode. After that, we have the Aeolian mode, which is better known as the natural minor scale. Here's the A Aeolian mode, which I'll drop down to play, still in open position. Finally, we have the Locrian mode, which is the most unstable of all the modes, and which is like a natural minor scale with a lowered second degree and a lowered fifth degree. Here's the B Locrian mode. For the sake of cleansing the palate, I'll come back around to the C Ionian mode. Now, how are modes unique? Well, each mode is slightly different. All it takes is one small change to one mode to transform it into a different mode. To use an analogy, if I'm trying to call someone on the phone using a seven digit number, but I change just one of those digits as I dial, I'll call someone else, right? 
To demonstrate how each of the modes sounds different, I'll take the well-known public domain melody, Joy to the World, which is really just a descending major scale, and I'll run it through this process. Observe how this well-known Christmas carol changes as I bring it through each of the modes, still in open position. Here it is in C Ionian, the way we all know it. Next up is D Dorian. Sounds a little different from the original, doesn't it? Next is E Phrygian. Then F Lydian. Here's G Mixolydian. Next up is A Aeolian, dropped down so I can still stay in open position. Then we have B Locrian, the most dissonant and unstable of the seven modes. And then, just to cleanse the palate, here's C Ionian again. Just for the sake of argument, what if I ignore the rules of the mode? Well, things won't sound quite right. Here's a quintessential example, the traditional melody from Scarborough Fair. I'll play it in D Dorian where it feels right at home. I'm going to do is change one note, the raised sixth degree of the scale, the B natural, as I lower it to B flat, changing the D Dorian mode back to the D natural minor scale. And trust me, you'll recognize the change instantly. Here I go. Not the same at all. Right? Here's the original one more time. See how important it is that I keep that raised sixth degree to maintain the D Dorian mode for this tune? Let's hear it for the practical and artistic use of modes. So now you're a bit more familiar with how the modes sound, and if you've got some note reading chops, you'll also see how each of the modes looks on the clef, or even with tablature. The next step is to familiarize yourself with how they feel on the fretboard as you play them, whether in open position or inside any movable scale form. I recommend starting with the key center of C major, but you can play any mode in any key signature. Where do we find modes, especially the ones that aren't simply major or minor? Everywhere. They're hiding in plain sight in classic rock, modern rock, electronica, classical music, Spanish guitar music, pop music, film scores, Celtic music, jazz music, folk tunes, and of course, worship music. We just need to know what to look for and especially what to listen for. Can you tell which mode is playing right now, even as I speak? It's the D Dorian mode. The Dorian mode is incidentally my favorite out of all the modes. Once we have command of these modes, we can use them for our own arranging and composing. Remember how I mentioned partway through this mini lesson that we had limited time to go through the modes in detail? Well, there's a place where time is not limited and where I present the most thorough yet accessible process for claiming all possible modes in all keys. And I'll bet you know where that is. That's right, guitar success for you. I've never had modes explained to me in a way that made sense and had practical application. Therefore, I had to create a deluxe approach to unlocking and applying them. 
To access this incredible curriculum though, you need to be a part of a members only community. The good news is that it's highly affordable Christ honoring and an absolute blast to be a part of. The better news is that with a couple clicks of a mouse, you could be in this community, experiencing something that I've spent almost three decades and thousands of hours to bring to life so that you can have a solid, structured plan for discovering your potential on the guitar for the glory of God. Could this be the season for you to enrich your mind, hands, eyes, and ears through musical learning? If so, please check out guitarsuccess4u.com. I hope to see you inside the membership. P.S. Be on the lookout for part two of this two-part series where we leverage modes with chords. See you then. Be on the lookout for part two of this two-part series where we leverage modes with codes.